Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, my name is Ryan, aka Ryman, and this is Kato Shoujo, or as I've been calling it, Ryman's Bizarre Adventures of Kato Shoujo. Right now, some of you are probably wondering to yourself, Ryan, you sound a little off. You okay? You sound agitated. I I just might be. Yeah. Well, what well, what 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 went down, Ryan? Did did you have a bad game of of Heroes and Generals? No. I played that like a few nights ago. We had some shit rounds, but I didn't rage that bad. Well, did you have a bad game of Rising Storm 2? Nah. It's not that. I just got done with a fun little hangout with some friends, you know. I'm, I'm kind of filling the time here with some nice conversation while I get my my timer going here. Hold on. <clears throat> uh, we all just got done watching a movie. We just finished watching Resident Evil Vendetta. That's the, the newest CGI movie. Well, Ryan, some of you are saying, that's your problem right there. You're watching a Resident Evil movie. That will upset anyone. Well, timer's officially started. There we go. That's not it. 99% of the movie was kind of enjoyable, and I was willing to overlook some of the really goofy action stuff in there, like Leon doing gun kata on a bike. That was weird. Nah. It was the ending. There was a certain part of the ending, a, a little tiny thing on how they resolved... Mark, I'm not summoning you, and I forgot to set my Skype to busy. Little, little tiny thing on how they wrapped up the outbreak in New York City. I can't say it, because it would spoil it. But it's left a bad taste in my mouth. Should I start covering movies? Maybe. I don't know. My, th my, th my channel here is personally for video game stuff. I would have to kick I would have to start doing more shit for Brainchild and covering shit like that, but that's for another day. We are here to resume the fields train that is Kato Shoulder. Last time we were here We were trying our best to help Hanako. That's all that is what it's all about. I have to put aside my anger, my rage, my salt, and all my bitterness. And focus on Hanako. I'm looking up at the sign, the billboard, that just says, do it for her. And we're going to do that. We're reaching out. Back in the classroom. Hanako is more noticeable in her absence than when she was in the room. I feel her empty desk calling out for me. I find myself peering over my shoulder endlessly. <coughs> Sorry. Hoping that, <laughs> hoping that I'm hallucinating and that Hanako will magically appear. She makes sure her, she's a small person, presence as possible when she attends class. And although she had been getting better recently, that fact never changed. Nobody ever pays her any heed in class. And now that she's not here, they don't notice her absence. It's as if she never existed. Lily did say that her skipping class wasn't an unusual thing before I met her, but it's still very off-putting. The bells heralding the end of school make me jump in my seat. It's only now that I notice Misha is prodding me in the side with her mechanical pencil to get my the attention. It works as I reach down for my backpack and fuck it swinging around to knock off her dome. Why have we not done that? Oh, this was not the best therapy for me after that ending from that movie. Having to do a Misha voice in the middle of a feels trip with Hanako. Okay. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Hello? Is anybody in there? Stop that, you stupid fucking cunt. <laughs> ah, there we are. Welcome back to Earthy Shane. 
What are you talking about? You keep on dashing off into space! I was beginning to think that you might be trying to contact alien life! Maybe one of them would be able to help me with, with the problem of you. I really didn't get much sleep last night, so I don't doubt Misha's words. I'm not sure whether it was due to my uh, medicine side effects, Hanago's panic, panic attack yesterday, my inability to read, my worrying about her in general, or all four. I yawn tirely before resting my chin on my palm, but god damn it, it's contagious. <sighs> Oklahoma. <laughs> Having been reminded of how badly I, I'd slept. Hey, are you really alright? Yes, it kind of rattled me as well. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I wanted to speak to Hanako again, though. Did you see her last night? Yeah, Lily and I talked to her. Wait a minute, am I talking to Misha or am I talking to Shizune? Because if we remember, she signs everything she says. So I, I, I don't... Hmm. I don't know, maybe I am just talking to Misha. I don't know, I'm thinking too much into things. Um, this may sound a bit weird... But can you tell Shizune fuck you for both me and Lily? I know Lily technically didn't thank Shizune, but I could tell her by her reaction last night the, that she wanted to. At least that's how it works out in my head. Ellipses! I think she is trying to say, you're welcome. I get the feeling, just a little tiny feeling, that's not what she really said. The furious signing and Shino's uh, red in cheeks tell me that uh, what she said was entirely different. Her blatantly flustered expression is amusing enough to make me chuckle. <laughs> What's your funny he saying? Is something we said? No, I'm just a master of entertaining myself. I kind of have to be at this point. No, no, that's not it. I was simply thinking about how cute Shizune can be at times, and you sign that I will take a pen and shove it through your eye. <laughs> You're right! She seems really cute when she, try, when she tries not to be. I noticed that, she's, uh, that Misha did not sign a response to Shizune. Maybe Shizune's rage is enough of a counter to any quantity of cute. Click, damn it. Nevertheless, Shizune quickly calms down and signs something else to Misha. Ellipses. Oh, okay, he Shan. She Shan wants you to come and have dinner with us. I swear to God, if you're trying to rope me into the student council, I'm going to have to flip my laptop. Dinner, eh? Turning away from them a bit. At least I'd be swayed by their pleading smiles. I begin to mull it over. The, inv the invitation certainly is tempting. A takeaway dinner with two cute girls is not a bad thing, after all. The thought of Hanako locked up in her room, though, keeps dancing on the edge of my mind. Sorry, I'll have to pass. Oh. Misha doesn't sign my response, but Shizune picks up on it easily enough and grimaces in disappointment. She moves her arms, assumedly beginning some of her, of either protest or coercion, but stops herself and taps Misha's shoulder twice. Once Misha gives Shizune her attention, the only statement Shizune has on the matter is a shrug. Oh well, it's your choice, Hishin. I promise I'll join you two another time, if that helps. 
Misha perks up at this, but Shizune doesn't share her reaction. With a flick of, a, uh, of the head to signal for Misha to follow her away, Shizune, Shizune simply raises her hand to silently wave me goodbye. Goodbye! As the two make their way out the door, I return her in the gesture until they're out of sight. I didn't think they would be so disappointed, and it makes me feel a little bad for ditching them. Still, I have things to do. I don't feel bad. <laughs> the girls' dormitory is especially rowdy today, with a number of girls loudly playing games and watching the television in the common room on the first floor. I can hear their voices even now, standing in front of Hanako's door. It's an odd contrast to the emptiness of the floor she's on. The voices from below make the emptiness uh, feel all the more lonely. Lonely, I'm so lonely. I'm not going to sing. I had hopes Hanako would be in class today, especially after the talk Lily and I had with her last night. But I feel like I shouldn't hold it against her. It was a pretty awful episode. Wait. Wait. Episode. Okay, okay, I have to... Okay, we're gonna consider an episode. I don't know why, part of me thought he actually meant the last two episodes I posted. <laughs> like, oh! <laughs> that... I, I'm, I'm already convinced the game's being made as I, as I read through it, and that cut deep. And to have experienced it firsthand must have been all the worse. Not knowing what state she's in... I take a small breath before giving a few sharp knocks on the door. <gasps> da, 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 da. That was me tapping on the door. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. S shut up. All I can do is stand and wait, doing my best not to feel anxious. Too late. As the seconds wear on, I begin to think that she might be asleep and didn't hear me knocking. The door handle rattles a little before I can raise my hand to knock again, though. Hi. The door opens a sliver, an eye appearing in the gap, only just large enough for it to, to peer through. I'm sure this girl would ins uh, install a peephole in her dormitory door, if only such a thing was allowed. I just stand in her and smile, just wave awkwardly like Forrest Gump. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan! I don't think words would... <laughs> I don't... Uh... I amuse myself too easily. I don't think words would really help here, after all. The act is returned in kind, with Hanako wordlessly looking at me. The gap's not wide enough to see her expression, and I can only guess what she's thinking. Time passes as we look at each other, the only sound being uh, the disembodied uh, uh, Gantila from the ground floor. I know I said that wrong, shut up, I can't read. I'm not sure how long it takes, but eventually the eyes move away. I keep wondering whether she'll let me in or shut me out until the door slowly begins to creak open. We reached into the sound barrel and picked out something from Resident Evil. Now that I have full view of her and her bedroom behind, the first thing I notice is that Hanako's hair is, is quite damp. She's recently showered which is made even more obvious by the scent of shampoo wa wa wafting towards me. The look on her face seems one of curiosity, as if she's not really sure what to make of me. Even so, I'm not really all sure of what she's thinking. I'm trying to decipher, actually, what is on her shelves. That's, that looks like ramen noodles. Uh, book, 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 uh, that's a water pitcher. Uh, coffee mug. That's a lamp, that's tissue. It's probably for some obvious reasons. <laughs> and I'm gonna move on. It feels as if she's gone away for a long time, and having now returned, uh, neither of us knows what to say to each other. How was your day? <laughs> that's a start. <laughs> Hanako realizes she's staring, looking away awkwardly before turning to the side and gazing at her feet. I decide to take it as an invitation and 
and step past her into the room, closing the door behind me as I do so. I can see her hands fiddling in the folds of her of the oversized gown that she that hangs from her shoulders. I try to concentrate on what I want to say, but the scent from her uh, addles uh, my senses. To my surprise, it's not me, but Hanako that breaks the silence. Why? Because... Uh, why did I come here? <laughs> I was worried about Hanako, so I came to her room. She let me in, as I had hoped. And then... What? What did I mean to do? What did I mean to say? I honestly did not think I would get this far. I had no plan. Why didn't I think this through be before coming here? Because you're channeling me, dude, and it's frightening. <laughs> we both need to start thinking of things a hell of a lot more than none at all. I want to make up for what I, f for what I feel I caused, at least partly. I want to try and remove the distance I feel will between us since then, and to see her happy. How can I do that when I don't know the first thing about her? She likes ramen! We're gonna start with that. That's, that's our foothold on this battlefield of love. I wonder. I wonder if this is how uh, Iwana, Iwanako felt when she he saw me... Uh, Lying in that sterile, pestle blue hospital bed. Oh, I think that was the the, the bitch that caused the heart attack. Man, fuck that bitch! She caused the heart attack. I uh I uh, um this is already going like any conversation I've had with a girl. <laughs> uh I uh. A deep sigh steadies my nerves a little and ends my stammering. I don't think I've ever felt this nervous around someone before. When I'm like this, I, I, I don't think I can lie. Even if I would bring myself to, Hanukkah would see through it, uh, through it right away. I don't know. I just wanted to see you, I guess. By the way, I like this music. <laughs> It's very nice. Her fingers stopped moving, giving me a little surprise. Looking up to her face, uh, she gives a sweet smile and a nod. That was a satisfactory answer for her? Is it that easy? Has it always been that easy? Uh, um, since you're here... I'd like to play a game of chess with you. I almost hang my head in disbelief that 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 all she wants to do after I've been winding myself up so much is play a game. Looking at her face though, a tentative smile perched upon it. I realize that is more than that, it, it is. I'm not good at reading the rooms, sir. Uh, she could have not bothered answering the door. She could have shut it as soon as she saw my face. She could have asked me to leave. She could have rejected me at many points, but she didn't. Now, with this calm face... She wants me to play a game that we have played when we first really spent time alone together. A feeling of relief washes over me. Everything will be alright. Hanako has let me into her world. As long as we can be together like this, I think everything will be alright. It would be my pleasure. Now sit your ass down, I'm about to destroy you. That, that was a chapter? Oh, goodness, we're only... Uh, I'm only... Okay, I know by... In YouTube, in addition to my rant earlier, I'm 
I'm beyond 18 minutes, but since I officially kind of, kind of started, I'm not even at 20 minutes here. I'm going to go a little bit more. I'm waving my hands around to add emphasis, even though I don't have a camera, so I look like a fucking tool right now. The day of Hanako's birthday party is finally here. Battle stations, everyone. To be honest, I'm looking forward to seeing Hanako and Lily in their pajamas again. Hanako's uh, gown has grown on me after looking rather cute, though a little bit conservative. And Lily's shorts and thin silken top are a lovely combination. The best part of it is she can't see me staring. I'm going to be going to jail at the end of this, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. But the event is stained a little with the memory of Hanako's reaction to it. I still don't really understand what happened, only being able to vaguely guess it with the possible reasons for it. But I don't think finding the answer will be as straightforward as, as asking her. With that in mind, I knock on the door, or next to Hanako's. Is that you, Hisao? Yeah, it's me. I can hear the pitter-patter of footsteps coming into the door, followed by the sound of uh, the lock snapping open. I don't think I've ever seen Lily's door locked before. And it makes me a little suspicious. Once the door opens, the sight is... A little underwhelming for a birthday party. It's the same scene as before. God damn it, Wesker! <laughs> No! No, Derek, no. You guys have barged in on Hanukkah's birthday party. This is not acceptable. It is exactly Hanukkah. acceptable. Wait, wait, what the hell is Hanukkah's birthday party? Shut He's up! Not playing that thing. He's not playing Kata Shoujo, is it? Of course yes. I'm playing Kata Shoujo! What the fuck do you think I'm doing? <laughs> you really want me to answer that? Mark's got this. No! Mark, no! Get out of here! Sorry about that! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Lily Hanako. Those two just kind of follow me around sometimes. Anyway... Hanako... I haven't made up my mind of what parts I should leave in or not. <laughs> I'll be making my mind up soon, I guess. Hanako returns to her seat at the table with a quick smile and a nod, leaving me to uh, to close and assuming assuming they wanted it to be kept that way, lock the door. Are we planning a murder? I'm kind of all for this. That makes for the best birthdays. As I do so, I realize that the scene before me is that of the evening tea party, just like any other between the two. Somehow, I don't think I should be surprised. To my relief, Hanako looks relatively calm. The break from class has probably done her good, and given her time to wind down a bit. I take a seat between the two at the low table in the center of Lily's room, the brightly colored teapot steaming away between us. A tall brown bag close to Lily's side catches my attention. I covertly, tr I covertly uh, yeah, try to glance inside a couple of times, but I can't get a good look from here. You really only have to distract Hanako somehow and just look. It's not like she's gonna know. Looking to Hanako, it seems like she's as curious about it as I am. Hey, Lily. Lily finishes off the teacup raised to, uh, to her lips before setting it down and giving me her attention. Yes? 
I was just wondering about the brown bag. Did you bring drugs? She pauses for a moment, then gives a slightly cheeky smile. That would be Akira's present. Unfortunately, she says she was working and can't join us. Lily leans over and feels out the item inside before raising her arm. I raise an eyebrow as two items, not one, rise from the bag. The glass next to her grasped by Lily on either side of her middle finger. So this is why she had her door locked. Could it be? <gasps> we have bows! I don't know why I had to throw off my headphones for that. I don't know why I had to, I don't know why I gave an overly dramatic reaction to that. I don't have a camera, you can't see me. But we have booze! It's now a party, and it's wine, so we're sophisticated as all fuck. Wine. There are two small thuds as the bottles are brought to rest on the table. One red, one white. I want to believe that it's fake, non-alcoholic wine, but if it was, there wouldn't be any need to be this uh, circumspect. Alcohol? Seriously? Are you sure this is a good... Huh, Sal, this is the part where I grab you and start violently shaking you! <laughs> Lily smiles politely and giggles. I'm not really convinced that she is. <laughs> these, these would be the present from my sister. I know it's a bit questionable, but a little shouldn't hurt. A little? Miss Lily, we are going through both these bottles. If Lily uh, took serious issue with it, I don't think she would have agreed quite so easily. That aside, I had Akira squared as, as the serious and responsible type, maybe like an older Lily. But it looks like I was wrong. We aren't even legally able to drink yet. Yeah, but we're gonna pretend that we are. Well, in that case, I won't complain. They don't look bad either. I'm no connoisseur. But at least the bottles look nice. Apart from the uh, super super titty is glass of wine or two given from the, my father at family dinners. There's, I haven't really had enough to know what's what. That, and I can't really say that I'm totally straight edge. Going by Hanago's expression, she's thinking the same. And it's her birthday anyway. Shall I open one? One? No. You're opening both. What the fuck I wanted to read? <sighs> My heart skips as I hear three sharp bangs coming from Lily's door. Was that all? Because with the way the screen shook, I'm pretty sure someone just cleared it, it just breached the door. Hanako's head flicks around and Lily's eyes close as she listens intently. None of us want to be busted for this. Quick, drink the evidence! <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't it be Linus that, that, that tried bursting through ooh, like, like friggin' Don and Derek did earlier? He would happily help with that. So many scenarios are playing out in my head, about a hundred of them in fact, and 98 of them end in hysterical shenanigans, the other two end very grim. Who is it? Let me- I have to read this straight because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Let me in, I'm cold. Okay. I've also would have accepted I have candy as a, as an answer to be let in, but Lily lets out a resigned sigh before motioning for Hanako to open the door. 
She obediently gets up and fusses with her gown before moving, apparently still not quite sure of who it is, but trusting enough in Lily to do as she requests. I can see a blonde, dark-suited figure becoming visible over Hanako's shoulder as she opens the door. Still gotta read this straight. Happy birthday, Hanako! Thank you, uh, Akira. Oh, that's the that's the sister. We're finally meeting the sister. It's going down. It, it, Hanako gives a small bow before, while toiling with her fingers in front of her. So this is Lily's elusive sister. Hello, business lady. Yeah, okay, okay, I see it. Older Lily. But shorter hair. I'm more of a fan of longer hair, but, you know, this still looks nice. Respecting the suit. That's That That looks pretty good. Akira follows Hanukkah to the table after shutting the door behind her, giving me plenty of time to uh, have a good look at her. She looks to be about the same height as Hanako, and has short blonde hair that's quite roughly cut. That, in addition to her rather modest breasts, masculine suit, and deep voice, gives her quite a androgynous uh, effect. Deep voice? Uh, I don't think I should read this like a do. That might make some people upset. How am I gonna do your voice? Ah! Every time I think I can take a break, there's a new voice as we introduce, and it's always got to be a female. Oh! Where's my goddamn hatchet? I have to throw it at the wheel of voices again. Where is that damn thing? Fuck, where did I... Alright, I'm gonna... Hold on. Come here. Ow, son of a bitch. Ow, come here. We're gonna have to throw the machete. Stop asking why I have so many weapons within arm's reach. We're gonna have to throw this at the at the wall we, slash wheel voices and see what we land on. Son of a bitch! That one missed. God damn it! I'm gonna have to try something now. Fuck! Hold on. Hold on. Come here. Fuck. Come here and get back in your goddamn sheet. There. Without further ado, she plops herself down on the side of the table across from me. It's nice to have your company, after all, Akira. Did work let you off? Uh, first of all, that face. <laughs> Now, serious time. What am I gonna do for you? Sweet lord, what, 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 what? Do I have enough time? Technically, I have enough time. I could end it here out of sheer panic of what I could do for a voice, but that's not gonna make some people satisfied. All right. <sighs> Brain, please think of something. If I have to go, if I have. All right, take it or leave it. This is one that's gonna be for time being. Okay, this is gonna probably change a lot through the course of this one sentence alone. But yeah, I have to go back there in a bit. But I managed to get enough of a break to drive down. Take it or leave it. So. This would be Hassel then? A confident smile gets thrown in my direction, so I nod politely in return. Considering that she just jumped straight to using my first name, she's uh, much more informal than her appearance would should, uh, suggest. Wait, if she already knows who I am, that must mean that Lily's talked about me with her. Oh god, what did she say? 
Sorry for not introducing you, Hisao. This is Akira Sato, my elder sister. I see. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Hanako, what was that? <laughs> the person in question, in question loudly claps her hands together, making Hanako jump a little bit. That was adorable. Akira notices this and looks uneasy for a fraction of a second uh, before getting back into her stride. Only now do I realize that Akira hasn't paid Hanako's scars uh, any undue attention. Hanako also seems to be comfortable, if not exactly relaxed around Akira. Well then, I assumed the, the presents got through. No point in waiting, considering Hassal and the birthday girl look like they're pretty eager. Lily giggles as I awkwardly turn away, a little embarrassed by the fact that I couldn't hide my interest. Uh, Hanako's eyes are telling me that she wants to try the wine together with me, though... Oh, so I settle f uh, for a look of badly feigned indifference. Akira manages to uncork the first bottle with small effort, and Hanako gets to uh, uh, goes to get the, some glasses before I, I get to pour the the, f the four of them full of white wine. I'm lo I'm losing my mind. I heard somewhere that white wine it has less alcohol than red wine, so I think it would be the best to start with. Wait, I think I have wine. Hold on. Don't ask why I have booze within arm's reach. There it is. Ah, yes. And this is from Gettys from the Gettysburg Winery. Rebel Red. The historic Gettysburg collection. What was your year? Ah, fuck it. I'll look at it later. Open, goddammit! Open, goddammit! Son of a whore! There we go! <laughs> if you're out there, pause the video real quick and go grab yourself a drink, huh? Don't worry, I'll wait. Are you back? Okay. Here's to Hanako and to Lily's trip. Cheers! Mmm. <laughs> Probably shouldn't try drinking too much when I have work in the morning. Ch -ch Cheers! After the traditional r uh, raising of the glasses, we all take sips of the pale yellow liquid. It's nothing like the stuff I've had with my parents, with the fruitiness of the flavor almost entirely hiding the taste of alcohol. Maybe this is what proper wine is supposed to taste like. And again, it's possible that Akira just chose a wine which would best suit it to our tastes, since none of us are used to alcohol yet. Or at least, I hope none of us are. <laughs> this isn't too bad. I was expecting something harsher. Like, what, Jack Daniels? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> if you hadn't liked it, I have a few other varieties you could have chosen from. You sound like you know your stuff when it comes to booze. Only a bit. I'm more of a beer kind of person. <laughs> Come on, Ryan, you're almost through. I have the drinking side down pat, though. As if to prove her point, she refills her glass before bringing it to her lips and flicking her head back. 
Okay, well, um, who, I'm willing to party with her. She seems fun. Hanako and I slow... Uh, Hanako and... Han <laughs> Hanako and I silently watch as the, the whole glass full disappears down Akira's throat. I can't decide whether to be impressed or put off, but I certainly don't have any urge to imitate the effect. Says you. Hmm. Lily grimaces slightly at, at her sister's boast. I know that she, she's sipping from her glass as she does, though. Anyway, now that Akira's gift has been opened and sampled, shall we move on to ours? G gifts That's right. We got you presents. It's your birthday, after all. This is from me. Lily puts out her carefully wrapped doll from under the table and passes it to Hanako. Hanako handles the present as if it was glassware, carefully turning it over to remove the tape that binds the wrapping. Eventually the paper falls from the doll, revealing uh, the emerald green of the doll's dress. It's beautiful. I'm not sure what reaction I was expecting from Hanako. The near total lack of dolls in her room made me think that she didn't care about them. But the look in her eyes is now something different. She turns the doll around with the same delicacy as uh, affording the wrapping, as if she was expecting it to fall apart in her hands. I'm glad you like it. Hisao picked it out, to be honest. Hanako suddenly remembers that she's not alone in the, in the room, and shifts her focus from the doll. Y yes I, I like it. And th th thank you, Lily and Hisao. Actually, I got you something else. I reach into my bag and remove the wrapped chest set. Here, happy birthday. Hanako carefully uh, sits L Lily's doll next to her and opens my present with the same care as she showed Lily's. Before long, the, the checkered squares off the chessboard are visible, and, Hanako's gently, and Hanako gently runs her fingers across the carved surfaces. Uh oh! Almost by action, she triggers uh, the catch to the lid, startling herself in the process. She opens it and retrieves one of the great pieces. She seems as absorbed in the chess pieces as she was in the doll before. They're coral, natural coral, undyed, or so I'm told. Th thank you, Hisao. No problem. It's your birthday, after all. Th that's right. My birthday. Once again, Hanako's reaction seems a little off, but she carefully closes the board lid. I notice Akira's smile beginning to look very strained. I wonder if she knows anything about what happened in class, given that she seems to be treading on eggshells around Hanako. I'll have to play with you again sometime. I'll make sure I'll play you for- Did I just get stissed? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Just snap a picture, just snap a goddamn screenshot of this and save it forever, folks. This is what we're fighting for. This. This was, this was all worth it. Fuck the bad movies from before, today was a good day. She takes the doll she received from Lily and holds it to her chest together with the small chessboard putting the piece on top. 
The ex seems to settle her down somewhat. And we just sit in silence for a while. It's a good silence. I think it's one of the few times I've seen her genuinely happy, cradling the friendship of two people to her chest as tightly as she can. Thank you, Lily. Thank you, Hisao. In the process of thanking us, Hanako drops the chess piece and fumbles a bit in her rush to retrieve it. Once she finds it, Hanako puts the chess set down and nervously gulps at her wine. It's as, if, it's as if the real world suddenly rushed back into her consciousness and her fastest escape from it was in the glass. Hey, easy there. You shouldn't drink it that fast. It's a party, Hisao. Despite saying this, there is slightly concerned edge to her voice. Eventually, acquisiting, Lily proceeds to, to follow Hanako's Lily, though not as eagerly. She looks to be taking small sips from her glass and letting the wine settle on her tongue before swallowing. I decide this is probably the best approach and do the same myself. It's really how you're supposed to go about it with wine. But, you know, what do I know? Since this is a kind of going away party for you as well, I hope you enjoy your trip at, at least a little. Little Lily, uh, hopefully your aunt will be okay. I, I, I hope your aunt is okay too, Lily. Akira is just sitting here taking it all in. <laughs> I just realized she's she's getting drunk before she has to go back to work. <laughs> Oh dear, Lily and I are slightly taken aback by Hanako's uh, a fervor to wish Lily well, despite her own familiar situation. I'm a little impressed. My, my, thank you both. I'll be sure to convey your thoughts to my family when I meet them. It'll be a fine end in the end, Lily. Don't worry about it. Since the room's mood has become noticeably more sullen, I decide to try and move things along. Well then, shall we start on the cake? My tentative suggestion has uh, the intended effect, everyone uh, lightening up uh, considerably. Y yes, please. Cake? I didn't know there was any cake. I didn't know there was any cake! I <laughs> I'm sorry, my mind keeps going back to the sun and Skype call from Derek and Mark and just the just the image of those two like bursting into the room after me. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a fun birthday. I picked one up before I came, along with some snacks. Well done, Hisao. At least one of us remembered to bring one. Everyone seems to welcome the distraction, so I retrieve the cake from my bag and start cutting it up. Mixing wine and chocolate cake isn't something that I thought would work well, but none of us seem to mind. Conversation is temporarily subs uh, suspended as we start to eat. I was initially wary of this idea. After Hanako's panic attack, I expected the worst from tonight, but I think Lily's idea of giving her good memories of her birthdays is working. That, and also having it shared with her going away party. From Hanako's reaction to her gifts, I can tell that she was really appreciative. Tick, 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 tick. Hanako tries to pour herself another glass of wine, but ends up spilling some on the table. <laughs> she had a couple by now, so considering that she's never had alcohol before, I'm not sure we can prove that. I'm going to have to L.A. Noir doubt that. It's no wonder she's feeling a, a little bit lightheaded. S -s Sorry, Lily. I, I didn't mean to make a mess. I... Don't worry, I've got it. Oh, it's so goddamn precious! I don't have anything to hug with me here. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to hug this fire poker I have sitting next to me. 
This, this, this is the best I've got right now. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have to set you back down. Lily reaches sideways and gently takes the, the fussing Hanako in her arms and, and giving me pause. I, this snapshot, this, this is also what we fought for all this time, and my god, I've, this is going to be a long episode. God damn it, Tarek, no! It's okay, Hanako. I'm just happy you're here. Hanako gives only a faint nod in response. It's fitting. I suppose, that Lily would be the one to support her like this. I have no idea what Hanukkah would be like if she hadn't. Seeing the two like this makes me appreciate the fact that, I've, that I'm have that i privy to such an intimate moment. Even Akira can't help but smile at the sight. I never would have thought I'd managed to find new friends so quickly, and I'm all the more thankful of, that all, of all the people. These two are the, the two I befriended. They slowly break off from one another, Hanako regaining herself somewhat while I quickly get myself back on task. I find a towel among Lily's tea scent and start mopping up the spillage. By the time I finish, however, Hanako and Lily have managed to uncork the other bottle and have topped off their glasses. Looks like you're enjoying the wine, then. Just don't go too crazy with it after this, mind. We all dutifully nod and agree, but her, remi her reminder feels a little silly given that she's the one supplying underage people with alcohol. And you're drunk, oh my goodness. <laughs> the second glass of wine goes down a lot quicker than the first, and before any of us notice, the second bottle is empty. While Akira is helping us finish them off, Hanako looks to be the most uh, equaling her in the amount she's had. My head feels a little light, but I think I've managed to get out of my own tolerance surprisingly well. Hanako smiles lazily, uh, toying with her doll's hair, and I think it's pretty safe bet that she... hasn't moderated herself as well as I. I don't think it was Hanako's intention to get this drunk, but it seems that the, the alcohol hit her all at once. She has a very light frame, something which wouldn't help her handle her booze well either. Lily cradles her glass, running a finger down the rim. Her cheeks are rosy, but she's managing to avoid looking woefully drunk. Akira is... As I expected, somewhat expected, as I fully expected, largely unaffected. Her smile might be a little wider than before, though, but maybe. <laughs> Anako suddenly hiccups and I accidentally knock over the, and accidentally knock over the doll. I th think I should maybe go to bed. Th thank you, Hisao. Th 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 thanks, Lily and uh, Kira. She slurs Akira's name pretty hard, barely avoiding breaking out into a giggle midway through. She's completely plastered, and I can't decide whether I should feel a little bad or not for being amused at the state she's in. It, it really is bizarre to see her acting so carefree. A shame that it's only with the help of alcohol. Here, let me give you a hand. Akira be uh, begins to get up and help Hanako out, but she stops when Lily gives a sharp cough. Hisao, would you please? Akira looks a little surprised, and I have to admit that I am as well. I don't mind their quest at all, let alone when sh she said with such a smile. It comes just rather unexpectedly. It's just sure, no problem. <laughs> I pick up the chess set and help Hanako stand up. I do feel somewhat responsible for her considering that, other than Akira. I'm probably the most sober person in the room. 
She nurses the doll in one hand and offers me the other. <laughs> what the fuck? We stumble out of the door, enter the hallway, and into Hanako's room. Hanako bumping into a number of, into me a number of times on the way. Inside the room, I flick on the light as Hanako turns her attention towards the shelf on her dresser. An elegant doll is sitting on it, staring into the bare room. There you go. You'll be safe in here. Hanako gingerly places the doll next to the other one and straightens its dress. They sit in silence, hair and clothes perfectly arranged. Just like the teapot in Lily's room, they serve as distinct contrasts to the dull whites and grays that permeate her bedroom. Satisfied that her dolls, her only two real possessions, are safe, Honigle takes a step back and stands up, staggeringly severely. I step forward to catch her if need be, but she regains her balance without my help. For a while, both of us stand in silence as Honigle looks downwards towards the, the cupboard. After a minute or two, she begins to sway a little from side to side. It's very off-putting. This is the point where you... kind of gently place her in her bed and remember to keep her on her side so she doesn't, you know, get black out drunk and drowns in her own vomit. Don't ask. Are you... going to be alright? Hanako raises her head and turns around to me as if she's only just remembered that I'm also in the room. Yip! Yeah, what What's unexpected is she takes two steps towards me and wraps her arms around my body, her head coming to rest against my chest. Aw, oh, this nice, beautiful piano music. Oh, fuck the timer. I know I'm over an hour. Fuck off. This is a- THIS IS A SPECIAL! Be- uh, this is- this is now a special because it's Hanukkah's birthday. God damn it! <laughs> I can feel my heart are beating as all my senses feel like they're- they're coming alive again. After they're deadening through the previous drinking. The smell of wine on our breath. The feeling of her fingers through my clothing. The scent of her hair underneath my chin. My hands remain out in front of me, not daring to touch her. The temptation is there to hug her, to embrace her, to tell her everything will be fine. But this feels wrong. Really, really wrong. Hisao, man, I... Hold on a second. With one of your hands you're not using, I want you to put it on up high. Okay, is it there? Good. That right there is not taking advantage of a, of a woman who is in a drunken state. Good man. Good man. And a third time. Good man. One more. Good man. Please take notice, people of the internet. Hanako. But I want to stay with you and Lily. Hanukkah slur reminds me a bit of Misha. She probably wouldn't be pleased to hear that. I'm not pleased to hear that! You know I can't. You're a girl, and I'm a guy. Hey, after all, and Lily needs to sleep. She gives a disappointed groan. It's so strange uh, for her to act so forward. <laughs> I just noticed her frown. <laughs> uh, first storyline. Storyline I guess I was meant to go through. I'm already calling best storyline. Don't worry. I'll see you again tomorrow, okay? I decided to rest a hand on her head to reassure her, deciding that this was as far as I'll allow myself to go in terms of physical contact with her while she's in this state. Hanako's head nuzzles against my chest. It makes me feel all the more uneasy with the situation. As her arms tighten around my back, I quickly decide to bail out. I rest my hands on her shoulders and and give a firm but gentle push. 
Her grip tightens a little as I do so, but she eventually breaks off. I don't want you to go. Hanako, please. Akira and Lily are going to start thinking weird stuff if I take too long here. It's perfectly true, too. I really don't want uh, to take any chances, and I feel very uncomfortable right now. I shouldn't try to read anything into the way she's acting right now. I read that aside from the alcohol lowering inhib inhibitions, people uh, can react to getting drunk in many different ways that don't necessarily reflect reality. And even without that, there are plenty of ways to interpret well, what she's saying. As long as she's, she's safe, I'm going to try and get out of her room as soon as possible. <laughs> Hanako hicks up, hiccups again. Looking a right mess as she stands and looks downcast in the center of the room. Her personality changed as she drank more and more, and now, all alone in a room with me, her previous brightness uh, seems to have left her. Was she just acting upbeat to make sure we didn't worry? If she was, what could I possibly do for her, since I do exactly the same thing in regards to my own condition? Distancing myself from my thoughts, I eventually managed to corral Hanako towards her bed. Though her attempts to tame the wild sheets so, on end up accomplishing little. Sorry about tonight, Hanako. I know you probably won't remember any of this, but happy birthday. I'm sorry I couldn't do more for you. She looks up at me for a moment. I have no idea what I he said actually got through to her, but any chance to, to ask is lost as her eyes peacefully close. I sigh in relief before uh, quietly backing away from her room and leaving the room, flicking the light uh, switch as I go off. I hesitate a little before opening the door to Lily's room again, quickly rehearsing what I could say if I get questioned about Hanako. After a few seconds, I st still can't come up with anything. I open the door and make sure to close it behind me, at least any passing students catch a glimpse of the wine, before turning my attention to two girls at the low table. Akira's actually uh, casually smiling, as is Lily. I welcome the change from the mood in Hanako's room. Is that you, Hisao? No, it's the police. This is a raid. Yeah, I got Hanako to her bed. She's sleeping now. That's good. I have to admit that I hadn't thought that she drinks quite so much. Hey, it's fine. She's all safe and tucked up in bed now. With the way she is. She awkwardly trails off, though Lily and I uh, would hardly protest. For someone so anxious and fearful, drinking would give an easy alho for those uh, constrat feelings. I wish I could do more for her. I feel useless. Looking at Lily, I think back to what I asked myself in town. My relationship with her is that of a friend, and has only ever felt that way. But I think I know. But I think I know, I know why. Lily's been there for both Hanako and me since I first met her, but she's like that for everyone, trying to do her best to make them feel better. With that in mind, then what's the bond between me and Hanako? After rescuing our relationship following the panic attack, I inadvertently triggered her during class. I feel like we're back to being friends, but she's on, but she's on my mind more and more. I can't say I've viewed any girl in quite the same way, but maybe it's just normal reaction to someone acting like this. Say Akira. She yawns before looking at me. It's getting pretty late. You know what about what happened with Hanako, don't you? Yeah, Lily told me. I negotiated pretty hard for a break so I could come down and help make her birthday a bit brighter. We get along pretty well. It's surprising to, to hear that from someone so extroverted as her, but if Hanako came to know her through Lily, maybe she had time to get used to Akira. And on that note, I better get going. I'm already going to be a bit late as it is. But it's already so late. 
sorry, but we've got a bunch of work dropped on us, so, so over time it is. She levers herself up with a grunt and heads past uh, me towards the door. Just before she leaves, she turns back towards us. You haven't forgotten about the time in for a flight and all the rest? Don't worry, I have everything ready. It's just a matter of packing when it gets closer to the time to leave. Atta girl, I'll see you guys later then. And with that, she disappears through the door with her, her hand held high in farewell. Your sister is... something alright. I probably should have thought of the comment through before saying it. Regardless, Lily seems quite amused at my appraisal. You okay after all that drinking? Not wasting it, just hiding it well? I assure you, I'm quite alright. I can moderate myself. You seem quite self-possessed as well, if I do say so myself. Yeah, well, I guess your moderation applies to me as well. With a little hesitation, I take a seat on the table in front of Lily. I want to address this directly, if for no other reason than to settle my own thoughts. I've been meaning to ask this, and it took me a while to make up my mind. Do you have any idea what triggered that panic attack? I gather it was something to do with her birthday, but I don't know I don't know anything more. Okay, you know what? This is actually dragging on a lot, and I have this funny feeling this chapter's gonna drag on a little bit longer. So I think, for the sake of me getting to bed at a reasonable time for work in the morning, I should end this here. I did not plan on this being like a super long special, but hey, it turned out if it, it was her birthday, so why the hell not? We're gonna save that right there. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy this in any way, shape, or form, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel to see more. I do a whole bunch of other games on the channel for you guys to enjoy. Follow the Facebook page. I post all news and content on there so you guys can keep informed. Like when I post videos or, you know, screenshots or any other videos that I may come up with. And as always, stay awesome out there, guys. Bye-bye.